Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with Fishing Planet and I have been doing quite a bit of work off screen and I think I have managed to master this as best as you can, basically. <laughs> but anyway, I have managed to catch five out of the seven of the Greater Amberjack, six out of the seven of the Japanese Amberjack. So we only have three more fish to get. I hope we can pull this off, basically. I'm, I'm in the right location, that's all I know. Uh, I think we can catch them here. It's just going to take a lot of patience. So, let's go ahead and jump back in here. Now, I'm going to pull up my map here, just so you can see where I am. So, based on my coordinates, I'm at negative 1005.11. 341.67. I've got a navigation buoy over here, but I don't think you necessarily need that. But I have been using the single hook, hook pilker, two, four and a half ounce, with a five odd hook. It's been doing better for me than anything else. And I am using this particular rod. It's. I did try this one for a while, but some of the fish that was uh, getting on the line was too big for it. So I was doing damage, as you can see. I'm down quite a bit on my ballerina, ballerina 7000 reel. It just really does a lot of damage on the reel. But I backed my reel rider 5 foot 5 inch Max SE. My, my girl Master Gold 18,000. And it doesn't cast out very far, but you have to be patient with this, even with the other rod. Just get it out as best you can. That's all you can really do. And I just kind of cast it out, and then move a little bit to right, move a little bit to right, and keep doing that. But I let it drop just before it hits bottom. If I can reach 100 feet, that'd be ideal. And then I start reeling it in, doing a twitching lure action here. It doesn't mean you're gonna. Okay, we got one. It doesn't mean you're gonna get one every time. I got lucky on this one, but usually you get. If you're gonna get something, you might get the amberjack, but the narrow barred mackerel are here in great quantities. Greater Amajack. So that basically takes me down to needing one of each. That's great. That is great. Because I hate having to catch one particular species and <laughs> being limited by that. But, but like I said, toss it out. See, it only goes out 79 feet. But what you do is you let it drop. And that depth increases, as you see on my uh, bottom right of my screen. Let it get as close as it can to 100. And then start your retrieve. Twitching. And you're not going to get one every time. And you might go several casts before you get anything at the bite. But just be patient. And keep changing locations. See, I'm going to go a little bit more to the right here. Do the same thing.
Let it drop. You, it isn't going to hurt if it hits bottom, but preferably don't let it get to the bottom. We're working on mid-layer species, so these guys are going to be found somewhere in the middle or close to the surface. If they're going to be found at all. See, I just... I've noticed that there's been a lot of lag spikes just recently. I don't know if they made a, a change or what, but it's a little bit aggravating. Usually a lag spike means there's a fish that's going to bite on your line, but not always. Let's see what we do here. I'm going to keep trying this. And once I get something to bite, I'll bring it back. I will tell you guys, when it comes to this type of fishing, it takes a lot of patience. You'll be casting this rod numerous times, and many times you might not get anything. So... Doesn't mean you need to give up. But we have the advantage of the peak period on our hands. Hopefully, something's going to bite. We'll get the last two here. We need one greater amberjack and one Japanese amberjack. All right, right close to the boat, we got something to bite. I'm hoping to God, this is one of them. No, it's another narrow barred mackerel. We're gonna get all. We're gonna get these all the time. In fact, I'll go ahead and show you just how many of them I've caught so far. Yeah, I even got a unique Narbar macro out of it. And a trophy. And a couple more narrow barred mackerel. But at least we're catching them. Yeah, the narrow barred macro go for this pilker very well. Of all sizes, as you can see. Alright, we got something here. Hope to God it's not a narrow bar mackerel. What is it? What is it? Yeah, it is a narrow bar mackerel. Dang on it. These guys are persistent. Well, you gotta look at it this way. They are cash and they are XP. And we can always use that. All right, we got something here, guys. I'm hoping Hoping this is one of them. Yes, it is a greater amberjack. That eliminates the first of them. I just need to get one more Japanese amberjack, and we have completed this doggone mission. Well, not totally. We have to go back to the... Oh, well, whatever the guy's name is, I forget. <laughs>
we have to go back to the port administrator to finalize this. So we have to go back to, hold on, what's it, what's it called? Green Harbor. Let's speak to him. Japanese Amberjack. Something tells me we're going to have a hard time getting this one species. Because that's just the way things work. We're probably going to get a greater Amberjack and Neurobarred Mackerel out the wazoo. We gotta try. That's all we can do. They are out here, and this is the one of the best spots for it. I'm not saying it's the best spot for it, but it's definitely a good spot. All right, we've got something here. <sighs> no idea what it is. I hope it's what we're after. Love to be able to move on, guys. Let's see what we got here. Nope, greater amberjack, regular one. Dang on it. At least we got something. But we need the Japanese amberjack. Something tells me this is going to be a little bit tough. Because there's no way to single the Japanese Amberjack away from the Greater or the Narrow Barred Mackerel. At least no way that I know of. Alright, we got something here. I don't know what it is. Hope to goodness that it's what we're after. Love for it to be a unique one. It's it. That's it. We got it. We got it. Japanese Amberjack. That's all of them, guys. That is all of them. The final one. Well, we will keep him. Uh, well, apparently we have to go back to port. So, probably the... Actually, the fastest way to do that, we just need to go back to the main map. Let's... We just go back to this one. And we're here. And go to the port administrator. Without our fishing pole sticking in front of us. <laughs> Great job. The calibrated echo sounder is installed on the rental boat. And tablet functionality is updated. Let's check it out. E. Two. Okay, so I guess we have to go on a rental boat. Echo sounder mid-layer detection. Well done. You've mastered the mid-ocean's mid layer Perfectly set up the echo sounder and retrieve updated firmware for the tablet. 8400 XP. That's what I really need. And 48,000 cash and one bay coin just to sweeten the deal. Echo sounder tuna trolling chest. Okay, so we got another, another maintenance mission. Run the latest device test and Check the operation of the updated tablet. Use Echo Sounder to track the movements of various tuna species, including yellowfin, albacore, and skipjack. Employ a trolling method to effectively catch them. This test will allow you to verify the flawlessness functionality of the Echo Sounder in motion. Okay. We get a Trophy Ocean Power Mono 0.0393. Trophy Fabulous Point Hook at 12 aught. That's definitely different and yeah, a trophy pyramid sinker at 16 ounce alright so we get to trolling in the next mission guys well I think that is enough for this episode we've managed to accomplish what we set out to do 
we got all of the greater amberjack and Japanese amberjack that we needed to catch. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And we will be back for another episode of Fishing Planet. Until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.